Hey! Over the past few months I've been making guides for Summoner's Wars and quite often these days I get asked the question of what the hell it is that I'm using to track my run. And so today I'm going to answer it once and for all. It is a tool that I made and today is the day that I finally want to release it to the world. It is one of those tools where I over-engineer a solution to a problem that doesn't exist or a problem that only I had because sometimes I can get quite pedantic about these types of things. Okay, so what am I introducing today? It is a logger and long story short, we're using a plugin for Summoners for Exporter and we export all of our dungeon runs into a web application. It is the same application that has the, the speed tick calculator that I made a video on about a month ago. And we are logging all of the dungeon runs that you made, with which monsters you made those runs. And we are also logging what runes you used on those units. Why are we logging the runes? Because then you can do something like this. Here, for example, you can see all of the stats of all of the units that I used to achieve this time distribution of runs for Punisher script. So this is basically the team that I showcased in the original video. We have Talia, Sabrina, Ikaru, Prilia and Julie. These are all of the equipment displayed in one place and here we have the time distribution of all of the runs that we made. The site has two modes. One is the public records, which is accessible to anyone and it shows all of the records that people share. So far it's just things that I shared. And then it has the your record section, which is just going to include your own runs. And you have access to that once you register, log in and you import some runs. First I'm going to talk about the public part of the website and then I'm going to move on on how you can log your own rounds using this site. So first you go to swcalculator.cz. It is a Czech domain because they're dirt cheap and it's where I live. So let's go with that. It will take you here and you go to the dungeons tab, for example, into giants. And here you can already see all of the teams that I shared and how they were running. What you can also see is if you click this button, show builds, you can see all of the builds and how those builds were running. So for instance, here we have two shared variations. One is just a fight set Luna and one is a raid set Luna. Both have very different time distributions and you can check all of the runes for both of them in one place. We also have an automatically calculated scores for time and success rate and then a combined score is just a weighted average of the two where success rate is rated three times more than the, the time score. And then all of these teams, they are going to be in order of what the best variation of the team was running. So for instance, here we have the Luna, it's displaying this graph because it is the top variation of that team. And we can also look at all of the runs of this particular team that are shared. So the number of runs just goes up a bunch. Same for the Teshar team and all of the other teams. After you log in and you import a bunch of runs, I will get to how to set up the connection between the Summoner's War exporter and this app in a bit. But once you set it up, you can just go to your logs and here you can see all of your own runs that you did. So for instance, here I have a bunch of variations on this that I didn't share, either because they were running poorly or just because I didn't feel like it. And by checking this checkbox, I can also check all of the runs that I did with this particular team. And this doesn't include any of the records that other people shared. And then once you make a bunch of runs with the variations, you can also share it. You will need to do 300 or more runs for any of the Kairos dungeons and Beast dungeons. You will need to do, I believe, 100 runs for any of the Dimensional Hall dungeons to be able to share them. Once you share them, that is, you set this to public, and they will appear in the public records right here, right? So for example, I shared this variation, so I can also make it not public anymore and then it will disappear from this view and if i unshare all of them go back to giants and public logs the team completely disappeared and there is no way to access it anymore for anyone else than yourself and if i go back to my logs and i go to the variations i can share them again 
Now the reason why this 300 runs limit is there is because then you're just loading a bunch of useless data that nobody cares about and so I disabled this. If you do want to share it with fewer runs, you can click this link button and generate a link. Once this link exists, you can take this link, you can even log out, and then if you put it in the address bar, we are not logged in and you can still view it. So if someone asks you what dungeon you're running, you can just generate the share link and send it to them. It will show them the exact runes and artifacts that you used and how well it was running. Then let's say that you don't want people to be able to access this anymore. So you go back to your giant team. You go here and you can also just delete the link. And then if people try to go, go to it, it will throw a 404 and it just doesn't exist anymore. So by default, all of the data is private, but you can share it. And I would encourage people to share their data so that everyone can learn on what to do and what not to do. Once you get tired of a variation, you can also delete it, which will permanently just delete all of the data associated with it. Okay, let's say that you want to log your own runs. So how do you do that? First thing you're going to need is something like Moomoo Player, or even the Steam client will do. And then you will need to connect it to the Summoner's War exporter, which means that you go to this website, I will link it in the video description, and you download the installer for Windows if you're running on Windows or whatever you're running on. You download that, I already have that downloaded. So you click this. Uh, also, it will warn you that it it's like protecting your PC and whatnot. So you just install it. I already have it installed, but if you don't, you just install it, and then a few things will happen. First of all, you will get this Summoner's War ex exporter files on your desktop. Just open it for now, and you will also get the Summoner's War exporter tool. First of all, make sure that you connect, for example, your Moon player to your Summoner's War exporter. The way you do that is that you click this Get Certificate here, it will put that certificate into this folder, the Summoners War Exporter Files folder. You take this and for example, for Mumu, you open the shared folder. For me, that's going to be here. So documents and Mumu shared folder and you paste the certificate here. Then you go to Mumu Player, System Application, Settings, Network, click on Internet. I believe, yeah, this Wi-Fi here, Pencil. You go Proxy, Mode, Manual and you take this number here and you make sure that it is the same as this number here and then you go to this port and you make sure that it's same as this port you click save and then you go back and you go to network preferences install certificates and here we have the mumu shared folder so we put the certificate there and so we have it here and click install and we do SWX certificate. Okay. Wi-Fi certificate installed. Uh, and you click here, start proxy, go to settings and set start proxy automatically whenever you open this exporter. And then what you do is you either log in or register on, on the SW calculator website. So it's swcalc.cz. I have my test account, so I logged in. You go to dungeons and when you log in this switcher will appear and here you can switch between the public logs and your own logs and here it's gonna tell you that you wanna use my plugin you click here it downloads the plugin or you can just go to what is this and here i also have the link to the plugin you can also click this and it will also download it i have it downloaded here you take this you once again go to your desktop, open the Summoners for Exporter files, you go to the folder called Plugins. If it doesn't exist, just create it. You put the downloaded JS file here. And then here you go to Settings, and here we have SW called Run Exporter, and you click the Enabled button, and this will be empty. And so you go once again on the SWCalc website and you click this button, this user button in the top right hand corner. If you're on the mobile app, you 
expand this hamburger menu and it's down here it will pop up this here you can see set your name you can change your password and you can get your swx access token and you want to click generate slash regenerate or whatever it is and copy this now you have the access token uh, be careful with these because they can work like a normal password and then you go back to the exporter and you put it in here and then stop proxy start proxy in remote mode so the usual then open your mumu or whatever you're using if you're using a different method method you can just find a bunch of tutorials all over youtube on how to set it up but just start summoners wars and here you can see SW calc run exporter already initialized it's going to create a local cache and we get start and so let's log it on so we make an amazing team and then we log it on okay run has finished the exporter set run uploaded okay go back to the site dungeons we made a run in giants so giants click on your records if you're not in them and here we already see the team the time distribution will start showing once you make five or more runs we can also check if the rune info is accurate so we are here we have the chicken 2951 attack that's the same 295 crit damage and here we have the same thing you can also browse the individual runes so if you forget how you were running a particular team you can find all of the information here also the artifact so damage on water artifact and here we have damage on water 18 percent same with this one and if we click this reload button here we already had three runs so we're we're already showing the, a distribution and then let's say that you want to try a different rune setup on your unit so you just change up some runes one is enough and you do some runs with that and we go back here and we re reload and here we can already see we have the stats for the new variant if you have any questions regarding this app or any dungeons in summoner sports you can join my discord channel i'm leaving a link to it in the video description in the near future i am planning on making a guide for all the rune dungeons for dimensional hall if there is something that you would like to see please consider subscribing if you like the video please like it and please let me know in the comment section down below the video that's it for this one and see you in the next one